Look at this earthquake swarm, guys. And where is this? This is right on top of Vesuvius or underneath Vesuvius, that stratovolcano that thrones over Naples, an area with more than 6 million people. And its body on the other side, the supervolcano Campi Fligri, is also acting up. So many people were worried. Is that related that we see these earthquakes at both volcanoes? So this is over 50 earthquakes so far, and it's still ongoing. And there are scientists that are saying Vesuvius is overdue. There are scientists that are saying, well, it might not have a major big eruption for several centuries or for a few hundred years, but it could have an eruption because the last eruption was in 1944. And we get back to this because there are a few strange things. And we know Vesuvius is famous for wiping out Pompeii and Herculaneum in the most... How can I say it, guys? I don't want to say fascinating, scary, mysterious way if we look at these statue-like people that are still visible from that in, nine, in 79 AD. And if Vesuvius erupted today, Vesuvius would do a much bigger damage. And given its potential, Vesuvius could endanger all these six million people in the greater Naples area and wipe out the city of Naples. And Capi Vligri could do the same and even worse. So the region also, Vesuvius, not only Campi Vligri has also another, they call it squatter dilemma, with over 700,000 people illegally residing on the slopes of Vesuvius. And they're highly, highly at risk. There's a super ultra, ultra, ultra red zone. And if there is an eruption, it will likely an incredibly forceful explosion that is marked by flying rock and ash at speeds of at least or up to 100 miles per hour. So if you live on the slope, game over. The government tried to make them move away with incentives of 30,000 euro per person, but that that doesn't get you far. So what does that mean that we have this massive, massive earthquake swarm at Vesuvius right now? So just a few hours ago, this earthquake swarm has started and has continued through the night in Italy. And the tremors, over 50 tremors so far, they're not super strong, they're not super big, reaching the two magnitude two mark, um, but it's a swarm, they're there. And magnitudes, yes, in the micro seismic range, strongest quake so far, some say it's 1.9, 1.5, and the, but the epicenter, and this is what we have to look at, is ultra, ultra shallow. It's only 200 meters, that's nothing. But of course, you have to consider that this stratovolcano is towering above sea level. So that's where these measurements refer to. But all the quakes, very, very shallow, also located underneath the main cone, underneath the main crater. And some quakes a little further away, but for the population, these tremors were too weak to be felt, but that doesn't mean that they don't mean anything. So it hasn't attracted much attention, not like what's happening in Campi Fligri, where really they're shaking, they're hearing a roar, people are running onto the streets, their homes are having damage and cracked, ceilings were collapsing. If you're interested in that, subscribe to my channel and check out my Campi Fligri playlist. There's all the latest. This thing is worrying us big time. So do we have to worry about Vesuvius now as well? So by now, more than 50 earthquakes, probably we're at 60 by now. And what they have always told us, what the officials always said, well, if we see earthquakes at Vesuvius, and we have seen larger ones in the recent weeks, like 2.6 or something, they're usually associated, what they're saying, with the subsidence of the crater cone that is subsiding since the last eruption. It has been slowly sinking for several years now. And they're saying that this process is resulting, this shrinking process is coming from the cooling of the volcano's vent systems. And 
the thing is, is this really the case? Because it looks like it stopped shrinking. It's not doing that much anymore. The volcanologist of the INGV, the Italian Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology, they have the Vesuvius Observatory. They're watching over this and they're saying that the shrinking is continuing. But if you look at the data that are available, it looks like that the subsidence at Vesuvius is not continuing, that it has basically stopped or almost stopped and slowed down significantly. We don't know if that is a trend or what is this? They're not telling us anything, but it doesn't seem to be subsiding significantly right now. So where is this earthquake swarm coming from? Nothing in the news in Italy. Nobody's reporting about this because it wasn't really strongly felt. But we have to, when we think of Vesuvius, we think of, yeah, Pompeii, Herculaneum, but many people forget. And I know here in North America, many people don't know. Vesuvius has last erupted in 1944. Guys, your parents were probably alive or you at least your grandparents. And as I said at the beginning, there's quite a few scientists that are telling us that Vesuvius is due to erupt again. It's overdue. And why are they saying this? Because they're looking at the last eruptive periods of Vesuvius, at the history of this volcano. What were the intervals when this volcano erupted? And, you know, this thing is dangerous. So it can pause for centuries, but then it can begin an eruption cycle again. And so far, the longest pause that Vesuvius has shown us in his eruptive history since Pompeii was destroyed, that has lasted approximately 290 years. Basically, they were counting this from the eruption in 1139 until the next documented, documented eruption in 1631. And why is this so important? Why are we looking at this? And what is this telling us? It's very, very important because that 1638 eruption that Vesuvius had was a significant one, very, very violent. And it was considered one of the most destructive since ancient times. And this eruption in 1638 has marked a new eruption cycle, a new active phase of Vesuvius. And during that phase, it showed more frequent eruptions. So this eruption period, 313 years long, they had more than 40 documented eruptions, maybe more. That's the ones we have documented. And also Vesuvius had, and that's also concerning, longer periods where it had continuous activity. Something like Etna is doing right now. Are we in like the 19th eruption or something like this? And at Etna, it's getting stronger. They're getting stronger. So Vesuvius could erupt continuously. Imagine that with one of the most densely populated areas there is, Naples, greater Naples area between Campi Flegri, the super volcano, and Vesuvius. You see it here on the picture behind me. It's absolutely crazy. And the question that we have to ask, and that the scientists are not sure of, when we had this eruption period that started again in 1631, has that eruption period ended or are we still in it? That's the big question. Did it end in 1944? Did it end? That's just a few years ago. If we look at the time, like related to volcanoes. So we could still be in this eruption cycle. Hopefully not. If we're not, we need to wait for a new one that could hopefully be a few hundred years out but there could also be eruptions again in the short term medium term fr time frame if we're still in that eruption cycle 
And so I think the opinions of scientists differ here. Some say it has ended, it's a few centuries out, and some say we're still in it, it's overdue. What concerns me a little bit and why I'm tending more towards the theory that we could see another eruption is because 1944, that's not a long time ago. If that was 150 years ago, we could say, ah, maybe in the next 150 years it's going to erupt. But this is a little bit strange, guys. So I thought I'll show you these earthquakes because they are quite significant in the numbers. I haven't seen a swarm like this the last two years. So stay with me, guys. If you like the video, please like it, share it with your friends and check out what is going on in other areas. I'll put the videos in the end screen, but you have to subscribe and go to my channel start page. There you see all the videos because in the end screen, there's four. If you click one, you lost the other ones. So go to my channel page. You'll find them there. Underneath this video, you find a link if you want to support the channel i have a buy me a coffee site become a monthly supporting member for behind the scenes stuff guys my members know it oh there's going to be an update today that i'll put in the membership level about crete in greece and uh what else guys thank you so much for watching and thanks for the supers you're sending me here on youtube and i hope to see you safe and sound very very soon here on this channel thank you bye bye